Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 4th of 2023, well, it is titled Moon Rays of August. So what do we see here? Well, here we see on the night of August 1st, the full moon rising as the sun was setting in the opposite direction. Now the moon here is very overexposed to bring out the crepuscular rays and you can see those rays shining through the clouds there uh, coming up, especially up above the moon and up in toward the other clouds. Now the full moon is was also called a super moon in that it was the moon that occurred der during perigee. Now perigee occurs is the closest point in the orbit when the moon passes closest to Earth. Now what that means is that the moon has an elliptical orbit and not a circular one. So it's not always the same distance from Earth. Sometimes it's a little closer. Sometimes it's a little bit further away. In this case, it was at its closest, which would make the moon appear a little bit brighter and a little bit larger in the sky. Now it's not a tremendous difference and just looking at the moon you would not notice it. However, if you could compare two moons side by side, you would be able to see that there is definitely a difference in size between the moon at perigee as opposed to a full moon at apogee when it is furthest from the uh, Earth in its orbit. Now this occurring on August 1st means that we are going to have a blue moon coming up uh, at the end of the month. The cycle of lunar phases takes 29 and a half days, almost exactly one month, which of course is where we get our typical month of about 30 days. Now, because it occurred so early in August, that means that 29 and a half days will still be in August. And now in modern terminology, we often call the second full moon in a month a blue moon. Now this is different from traditional terminology, which went by seasons and actually called the blue moon the third of four moon full moons in a season. So normally, for example, in summer, you'd have three full moons, the ones where you had four, that third one would be called the blue moon. But in modern terminology, what we've used more recently is that the blue moon occurs when there are two full moons within a single month. And that is going to happen here in August. We had the one on August 1st pictured here. And again, on August 30th and 31st, where again, the sun will be setting and the full moon will be rising opposite to it in the sky. Now because of this timing and the lunar cycle being so close to a month, these only happen every few years that we actually get two full moons in a single month. So that was our picture of the day for August 4th of 2023. It was titled Moon Rays of August. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a robin's egg. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.